Alrighty folks, welcome back to Cray Outdoors. You can see, sun's coming up. I miss sunrise. I couldn't fall asleep last night. I was too excited for fishing. And then once I fall asleep, I have a real hard time getting up. I am not a morning person. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to pull an all-nighter, I guess, if I wanna hit sunrise in western New York. I could do it in the Adirondacks when I lived right on the lake. But here I have a real hard time getting up. Anyway, we got the real auger today. Uh, after that transducer getting in the way yesterday, I decided to bring the real auger today. I'm going to check the ice thickness here real quick, make sure this end of the lake is safe, and uh, hopefully catch some fish, even though we, we've got about 45 minutes of prime time here. Time to start drilling holes. Oop. Make sure it's on. <laughs> First fish. Feels like a fighter too. That's a big bluegill. Ooh, it's a fighter. Whoa. This might be a trout or something. This is a good fighter, whatever it is. I don't know if this is a little blue. I don't know if this is no bluegill. Maybe it's a bass. It's probably a, yeah, it's a bass. <laughs> Me and these freaking bass in this lake, man. <laughs> This is obviously a pretty light pole to be fighting this thing on. Of course, it's half frozen from yesterday still. I'm gonna have to tire him out. No, it's a trout. Ha! Nice trout. Cool, that's what we're after, folks. Whoa. Don't beat up my, he's beating up, he's beating up my line on the edge of that ice. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, can't get his head in the hole. Got him. Whew. That thing will put up a nice little freaking fight on the ultralight. Oh boy, do we want to keep him now. We hooked him right in the mouth. I think I'm going to let him go. Nice trout to start off the day. About a, yeah, you know, he's bigger than the ones I've caught so far this season. So, good start here on Red House. And uh, one thing I like about this Contour Roam camera Unlike the GoPro, you guys can't tell where I'm fishing. <laughs> so uh, I can be liberal with telling you where I'm fishing. Because ice fishing, it's usually not uh, the lake that's a secret. It's the spot on the lake. So I like that this can contour roam sort of just aims down. Or I can aim it down and not show you where I'm fishing, but show you what I'm doing to catch the fish. So uh, cool. Well, let's see if there's more fish down there. It's a decent uh, start. I just started jigging. Just got all my tip-ups up. So... No flags up yet. Got a bite. Oh, and I missed it. Of course I missed it after all that. Got him this time. What have we got? What have we got? Slow. Looks like another decent sized fish, actually. No, it's a perch. Big perch. <sighs> Woo wee. Alrighty. Well. Oh. There's a, uh. Start to the panfish action. Just thinking of leaving this spot. Trying somewhere different, but guess we'll stick it out a little while longer. Big perch and a big trout so far. It's my biggest perch of the season so far. He's about a maybe probably 11 inch. He's fat anyway. I don't know if he's not that long. Look at the freaking gut on that thing. All right, there you go, buddy. Oh, don't know what exactly is going on, but just had a reel die on me. That pole's done for the day. Completely done for the day. Oh, now it's working. No, it's not. Reel just died. Alright. It's a K-trout magnet. wasn't doing anything anyway. Oh no, what happened to this pole? What? <laughs> this pole I broke the eye off somehow. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, we're down to two poles. That sucks. How did that happen? When did that happen? That's actually fixable. It's right on the top. I can pop a new eye on there. Gosh dang it. Well, we tried it. Got here at 7.30. There's now 12.30. And uh, all we caught was that trout and that big perch. So, not very productive for the amount of time we spent out here. And those were really the only two bites I had. We're going to head out to Quaker Lake. See if the ice is safe there yet. And uh, if not, we'll head back to that reservoir in Pennsylvania. 
finally got Mackenzie new tires yesterday. So, uh, yeah, it's key for driving in Allegheny State Park. These roads are like, and the Allegheny National Forest, actually, roads have very last priority in terms of plowing. But now we can actually make it through the snow. They're not snow tires, but at least they're good all seasons and not worn California sun tires or whatever the heck I had on here before. Got to film me drilling. Seemingly safe. We've got about, uh, yeah, it's plenty safe. We got solid four inches. We're good. We're good. All that worry for nothing. Trailblazer today. All right. Let's catch some fish. I'm marking out where I'm putting my holes. And I don't know. I got that sixth sense of where to put the holes today. So I'm just going to go on my own intuition. Here. Pretty first pike flag of the season. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. First flag I always do, or first ice, I always do my pike flags like in five feet of water. That's it. So that's what we're doing. About five feet of water. Hopefully we catch us up some pike. These shiners are actually a little bit small for pike. They're perfect trout sized. Perfect breeder trout sized shiners. They're a little small for pike. But uh, I think the pike will still eat them. And if we can jig up some little perch, we'll use them as bait. Okay, so quick tip for you. Number one, there's there are uh, trout in this lake. So it'd be cool to catch a trout in here. And number two, I don't feel like re-switching all of my tip-ups from trout back to pike because I'm probably going to do some more trout fishing here in the new, near future. So I don't feel like switching them all. So I'm going to keep the fluorocarbon leader on some of these, which I think that's only an 8-pound test leader. The pike can bite right through that, um, and you're obviously going to need to play them more uh, with that light leader. But um, anyway, the trick to keep them from biting through your line, you're more likely to hook the pike in the mouth if, whoops, this is a trick my friend showed me. If you hook them this way, for whatever reason. If you hook them that way, you tend to hook the pike in the mouth a lot more often. So, yeah, we'll try it. If this tip-up goes off, obviously we're not going to let it go too long. I'm going to clip off that excess of that little tagline right there. If this tip-up goes off, I'm not going to let them take it too long. But there we go. There you have it. Ready to roll. We've got fish. Got him. Oh, I came off. <laughs> Look at all the fish on the map there. There's a bunch of fish down there. There's more than one. There's a fish. There, see, he's going up to it. He's biting. Got him. I'm guessing these are the dink perch. That's okay. We can use dink perch as bait. Dink perch. That's what the pike are going to be eating. I'm going to keep this thing. Gonna work better than those shiners. Oh, look at there's a fish right there. That's a decent size fish. What is that? That's a big fish. I think. It's hard to again I'm new to this flasher, so still a there's a whole kinds of fish down there. <laughs> Alright. Well we're gonna replace the shiners on my tip ups with these things. Just a ball of freaking bait down there. Just a ball of bait. I wonder if I should bring my tip ups and put them around me right where I'm fishing right here. <laughs> the perch are just so ridiculous. That one's a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Uh oh, don't get caught in that transducer. Whoa, good size perch. I'm gonna throw that one back. Alright, cool. Whoa, there he goes. Alright, at least I'm getting some action. This is more fun than uh, Red House Lake just sitting there watching flags. At least I got some. Oh, flag up! And it's spinning! It's spinning! Holy crap! Alright, here we go. Here we go, folks. Here we go. Yeah, buddy. Heck yeah, it's spinning away. Okay, start going slow. Don't get too excited. First freaking pike of the season on the line. Whoa, 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 whoa. What now? Alrighty. It's already stopped. Dang it, I think he might have dropped it. No, he's on there. Got him. Oh, he came off. <laughs> dang it, dang it, dang it. Sometimes they come right back. Yes, this was out of bait. Let's go grab one of them perch. Throw it on there. <laughs> Alright, now that I know those shiners are working alright, I'll just keep them on. Alright. We'll use you. Use him as bait. 
all right all right all right all right it's happening buddy it's happening it's finally happening see people think ice fishing you're just sitting there on a block of ice and that's what i did all morning that's how it is sometimes but other times like right now man perch are hitting non-stop running back and forth like there's things i need to do yet too i need to take all those leaders and organize them back into my tackle box but uh man i don't want to do that now fishing's good hey yeah 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 all right ice fishing man when the fishing's good it is nuts there's nothing like it nothing like it like it's just non-stop craziness non-stop chaos when the fishing is good flag up flag up flag up <laughs> all right this is the first time i've had two flags on quaker lake in years ay 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 all righty except for instead of bluegill and sunfish beautiful bluegill and sunfish stink perch but that's okay i'll take it we got pike. Of course, this is the pain one. Oh, he's on there. You just let it go, dang it. Dang it, you got my bait again. <laughs> Gosh dang it. All right, let's go get that other perch. Back. a little bit bigger again. Whoa. Is that a trout? No, it's another freaking perch. That was a trout for half a second. A little bit better sized one. If I catch another dink, I'll keep them for bait. Oops. Flag up. Next to me. This one we can't let take it too long. This one with the fluorocarbon leader. Probably gonna bite me off. Wait, today's been going. Got him. It's a small one. It's a trout. Holy big trout. Don't force him, don't force him, don't force him, don't force him, Creighton, don't force him, Creighton. Get your head in the hole, honey. Get your head in the hole, honey. Holy cow. Don't force him, Creighton. Don't force him, Creighton. My line's all messed up. It's a big trout. <sighs> yeah. 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 <laughs> what? 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. Good thing I had the fluorocarbon leader on after all, baby. What? All righty. All right. He's bleeding. He's coming home. Heck yeah. Cold water trout for dinner, baby. All right. Yes, 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 man. This is Quaker Lake of old. Holy cow. Holy cow. All righty. Now we just need to catch a pike to, to make the day even better. <laughs> That's crazy. I was not expecting. I mean, I, I, I knew there's a, a, a chance, but I really wasn't expecting a trout out here. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. We're going to measure him. She's bleeding away, so coming home for dinner. Nice big old brown. And, uh... I just realized I don't have my measuring tape with me. It's in my other tackle box that's in the car. But uh, we'll get her measured once my dad gets here. Uh, I told my my dad uh, was doing a, a job thing today. And uh, he's supposed to meet me out here later. So that's the plan. All right, this top up is out of commission for a while. This is a disaster, man. <laughs> here we go. I'm not done re-rigging this tip up and we got a flag up again. Ay, ay, ay. Here we go, man. Here we go. This is one of those days. You know, I've been waiting for a good... I was due for this, man. The last couple days have been slow. This morning was slow. And I was due for this. This is on the perch this time, so I don't think this is no trout. This is absolutely insane. All right. <laughs> we finally got a good day on the ice. What do you know? Oh, he's taking a shallow. I missed it. Gosh dang it. Freaking A. Alright, he'll come back. He'll come back. I'm being too impatient now. They're missing that last one. I just gotta let them. I gotta let these pikes show more. I'm being way too impatient. Out of practice here. I'm not used to having flags. Did he bite again? I'm just gonna let him take it longer this time.
This time we're going to let them take it for a while. I've got a steel leader on here. There's absolutely no reason to rush. No other flags are up yet. <laughs> Look at them running. This is a small pike. You can tell the small pike like to run and run and run and run and run. Which way is the line's going this way this time? He's going in a different direction than he was before. Maybe I shouldn't let him run that long. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> this thing's going to run me out of line. I guess I'm going to have to go for it before he makes more of a mess. I got him. Don't feel terribly small. No, it came off again. No, is he on there? I can't tell. I think he's on there. No, he's on there. It's a small one. This one I can horse right in. Ooh, just got bigger. Is that another freaking trout? It is! What is with these trout that think they're on a steel leader? No wonder I'm having a hard time hooking them. Alright, well, that's our limit for the day. These are trout that are biting, not freaking pike. One's bigger than the last one. <laughs> that one's bigger than the last one. <laughs> oh, he's hooked in the mouth. Do we want to keep him? I don't have my measuring tape. Oh, oh man. All right, you know what? There's a measuring thing on here. And he's bigger than that. <laughs> All right. He's, yeah, he's longer than the length of the tip up. That ain't going to work. All right. So he's about with the tip up with that thing to bent like that. So when you bend the flag like that, he's about to there. So however long that is. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right. I guess these are, here I am thinking these are pike. These are the stock trout that are biting on uh, on these shiners and that thing ate a perch i got a perch on here this thing ate a perch what i just realized that it ate a freaking perch that thing ate a perch <laughs> oh my god it ate a perch holy cow bertha do we want to let you go or not we already got meal for a, for a while here this thing ate a perch. I still can't. Jeepers creepers. That might be my PB brown trout, man. I got. I wish. Why did I have to leave my measuring tape in my other tackle box? It's just crazy, man. Get a picture and we'll let this one go. It's gonna survive. I'll let you go, buddy. I'll let you go, Bertha. This is potentially my PB brown trout. You can see it's about a. Uh, I don't know. It's easily two feet. <laughs> Probably at least in weight. I don't remember catching a brown trout this this fat and, and long before. So probably my PB brown trout right here that I'm releasing for somebody else to catch. Wow. I just realized we're now down another tip up. <laughs> this one at least I didn't break the hook on. So I'm going to try and get this one back in the water ASAP here. Foolishly still in the water. All right, let's get this out of the water before I lose a freaking jigging stick. Ay, 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 flag up. Oh my gosh, man. This is crazy, folks. I don't know what to do anymore. Which way is the line going? No, line's, line's that way. That's not a wind flag. Not a wind flag. Not a wind flag. Officially not a wind flag. Oh my gosh. I am losing control here. And this one's got a fluorocarbon leader. It might have bit me off already. Nope, minnow's still on there. Alright, well, that was not a wind flag, so it was way down that way. Ay, 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 ay. Alright, this flag has gone off like ten times in the last minute, and then I come here and it's not doing anything. Oh, hey, it's doing something this time. This time it's moving. It just stopped. Gosh dang it. Urgh, these trout aren't easy to hook. I'm guessing that's what's biting. <laughs> I didn't get that on film. Here I am trying to reset this thing. <laughs> and uh, the freaking perch grabbed that. Alrighty. Perch is a little bit big to use as bait. <laughs> perch grabbed the, sh the shinier that I'm using for man. I bet that's what's been setting this freaking flag off a million times is a stupid perch. I don't know, the one that kept running and running and running though. Perch usually don't run that much. 
Okay, well, we are finally back up to five tip-ups. I put on, instead of using a treble hook, I got a steel leader on there. But instead of using a treble hook, I just used a regular singular size 2 hook. Um, hopefully, that'll be a little bit easier to hook the trout. I think they're having a hard time getting that big treble. Oh, man, I got another flag up. I'm thinking they're having a hard time getting that uh, whole uh, treble hook in their mouth. This is that one with that half-dead minnow that I just caught the perch on. So I think there's a school of big perch down there messing with it. See, that's why I want to grab a perch and use it as bait. Because all I got left are the smaller shiners. Ooh, I got him. I think I got him. Oh, oh. Had him. Alright, go back down there. Still trout in the area, so. Alright, I've now got a fish on it that was suspending. It's tiny. This might be a crappie, it was suspending. Oh no, it is a perch. Alright, you're good enough to go on a tip up. Yeah, he swallowed it too. Alright, this thing is. Bait. Ooh, we got fish down there. All right, the perch school's back. A whole bunch of fish down there now. Look at that. This one is perfect bait size. <laughs> All righty, catching bait. Bait for the evening pike bite here. It's gonna be happening soon. Here I am, just tagging, checking tip ups, and this one's out of bait. Ay yeah yeah. All righty, that's why you gotta check them. Sometimes the flag doesn't go off. That one might have been one that I actually, I, I don't remember what's happening in all that chaos. Maybe it went off and I just reset it briefly and I, I don't even remember. Before the sun started going down and we got into the evening bite, I ran back to my car and grabbed my measuring tape. Um, we might not have an evening bite. It, I mean, it turns out these were just these stock trout biting and not, uh, not pike. And I think the pike are pretty well fished out in this lake. So, and in terms of finding these stock trout, you just got to get lucky. You know, that's what that's all it was. I just got lucky. I mean, I deserved it because of the amount of time I put on the ice uh, the last two days. If you guys watch my videos, you know I put a lot of time on the ice uh, these last three days. So, um, and this morning, so so I deserved it. But uh, I got lucky <laughs> anyway. Fortunately, while I was running up to my car getting my measuring tape, no flags went off, and I need to come running back down that big hill. Let's give this guy a measure. This is the smaller of the two. Twenty and a half. That one's twenty and a half. And that one was the smaller one. <laughs> the other one I think was easily about two feet, which uh, is my PB. Let's go check that tip up and uh, see if I can get an idea. Okay, well, this is my tip up that I use for reference here. Ah. It goes from about bending that that way. Whoops. About... The end of that shank there. Oh, you know, I didn't realize that thing moves. <laughs> That's a bad thing to reference. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, based on where it is right there like that, pushed down to the red thing, which I think is where I had it. Might have even been further up, though. He's about 25 inches. About 24 and a half. So, yeah, it's definitely my personal best. I'll call it 24 and a half. I can rewatch the video and find out. Uh, if this thing was up against that red thing there or not and figure out exactly how big he was. Either way, I think definitely my PB. PB brown trout, baby! Heck yeah! <laughs> it's just a stocky, you know, it's not like catching one out of catching a, a wild, but uh, still, that's, that's, that's awesome. Personal best. Broken 2016. <laughs> got one more PB before the year was over. How cool is that? Wish I got that on film. Holy cow. <laughs> my, <laughs> my reel came apart. I gotta get rid of this rod, it's horrible. <laughs> my, my cheapy cheap reel here came off of the rod, and then right when the reel came off of the rod, a fish bit, and I was trying to hand line him in, and then he came off at the last second. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, we are now finally back to some good old fashioned jigging for tiny perch. Again, these perch are a little bit, they're getting a little bit bigger in here finally. I mean, this is big compared to what you usually catch at this lake. All right, we'll let that guy go. If we catch another super dink, we'll uh, we'll keep it for bait. We only need a couple. Man, you know, I'm only, I'm not going to keep too many for bait. Right, right now we don't have any, so I'll keep one or two as backups. Because again, we're we're pretty much out of big shiners. There we go. Can I see who's on there? It's from the fish finder. He wasn't even biting. It wasn't even tugging. <laughs> What, did he just spit up a minnow? He did just spit up a minnow, didn't he? That little stinker. 
<laughs> He's the one that, <laughs> that took, uh, I had a minnow on my, uh, on my cast master spoon there. He was the one that, that messed me up before, that came off, well, that bit while my reel was detached from my rod, and, and, uh, and got off, because that, that was, that was the minnow I had on there. Little stinker. Got another flag up. I'm gonna reel these in, just the way this day's been going, especially this one with the minnow on it. Don't want a big trout to grab that. Uh, this is the one with the little minnow on it. It's probably a perch. It's spinning though. Shooting that way. Dang it, keep dropping it. No, he's not being dropped. It's a big fish, too. He switched directions. Sheesh, pull and drag, pull and drag. This could be a pike. This is fighting like a pike. Can't see it yet. Is that that floral, light floral leader? Oh, shoot, stuck in the corner of the ice. There we go. What is it? Another pike, pike, pike. Pike, baby, pike. Oh. <laughs> pike with a floral carbon leader. Wonderful. Wonderful. You ain't ready yet. <laughs> All right. I knew I'd get a pike before the day was over. I felt it. <sighs> Not a cookie cutter pike. What did I tell you? You have rigged the minnows that way, and I always seem to get them in the corner of the mouth. Whoa! And I got lucky. That's the one with the floral carbon leader. The only one with the floral cart with the light trout leader on it is the one that the pike bites, of course. And I got a phone call happening. But I'm not going to answer it because this is too crazy. Alright. Do I want to bother measuring them? Oh, my, my, my measuring tape's in my pocket. Yeah, I can measure them. Someone's calling me, but I'm not going to worry about it. 23 inches, so 23 inches, nowhere close to the biggest fish of the day, we'll let him go. I'm recording, right? Yeah, making sure. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> no, you want to swim into the hole, buddy, not out of it. No! There we go. hi yay! yay Good riddance. Alrighty, bike baby, first bike of the ice season. Ha 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 ha. I got him. Bluegill! Hey, hey! Something different than a perch. Oh! Alright. I'm throwing him back. It doesn't look like a very... doesn't look like a very, uh, good-tasting bluegill. He's all green and mushy-looking. He's been playing in the mud too much. My dad finally showed up, and I got a fish. Alrighty, before prime time, I think I'm gonna put this guy on a tip up. Uh, the dink perch. Dad's got the fish finder and the switch spots with them, so hopefully, he can pull out some fish before it gets dark here. Maybe I should have drilled your holes over here. <laughs> You can take this hole, you can try this hole if you want, they're down there. And it feels a little bit nicer. You might be a big gal. That's a bigger perch. You see, they're, they're the quality, the perch I've been getting have been a bit bigger today. You get the occasional one this size. Look at that, he's got a battle wounds on him too. Look at that, he's got pike marks on him. <laughs> he's right there is where a pike where a pike grabbed him. You can see the teeth marks. That's awesome. Flag up, and it's the one. <laughs> I have now had all six. My dad brought a six tip up. 
<laughs> that I used instead of uh, the one on my jigging pole and that's the one that just went up. So I have now had all six of my tip-ups have officially gone off. That's awesome. All right. He's taking it that way. This one could be tricky if I hook it because it could be running into our lines. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to reel this pole when it's not moving. Nope, oh, two flags up. All right, let me get this one taken care of. Nope, this one moved. It was going that way, now it's going this way. Not feeling the fish or nothing. All right, this one I think has been dropped. Reset this one and then I'll go to that one. It's the final, final push here right before dark. I had a feeling flags were going to start going off again. This fish, it's a good chance it'll come back. All right, my camera is out of battery or getting cold or something's going wrong with it. So my camera finally died at the very end there. Um, that tip up that I was running to at the end just had a big perch on it. I did have one more flag uh, at the very, very end as I was pulling tip ups. Took the perch halfway across the lake and then dropped it. So uh, you didn't miss much. My dad finally uh, started catching some fish. He caught a couple little perch. Uh, but that's about all that you missed after my camera died. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun. This is the first time since college in the Adirondacks that I had. All five of my tip-ups go off. It was a pretty darn crazy day. Um, again, I deserved it. I put a ton of time on the ice these last three days if you watched my videos. And, of course, um, in the morning of um, that day I was filming there. And honestly, it's not because Quaker Lake's any better than Red House Lake. Uh, in terms of those stock trout, it's just a matter of being in the right place at the right time. If you watch my videos, you know I've absolutely nailed um, the fish on Red House Lake before. You know I've absolutely nailed the fish at that reservoir in Pennsylvania before. And uh, the last two days, it was pretty darn slow. And um, that's how all the lakes are in Cattaraugus County. All the lakes have a lot of panfish in them, if you can find them. And all the lakes get stocked with those breeder trout at the end of the season. It's just a matter of being in the right place at the right time. And uh, that's why I really love ice fishing. Uh, and that's a good segue into uh, a question that I get quite often. So a question that I get a lot is, uh, which do you like better, open water fishing or ice fishing? And uh, the answer is, honestly, I like them both about the same, uh, but they are different just because it's ice fishing, it's like the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. Like uh, that morning on Red House Lake when the fish weren't biting, I mean, it sucks. When you're not catching fish, ice fishing, Honestly, most of the time I always enjoy fishing. Open water fishing, I always enjoy it. Even if I don't catch fish, I enjoy just getting out and enjoying the weather. Ice fishing, you know, you're freezing. Watching flags that don't go up or jigging for nothing is like watching paint dry. And uh, especially when it's freezing cold. Uh, that morning at Red House Lake, for example, I drilled holes all over the ice trying to find the fish. And, you know, drilling holes is a lot of work. It's not necessarily fun. And moving around, hauling your stuff all over the ice isn't necessarily fun. And setting tip-ups setting tip ups isn't the fun part. Catching fish on them is the fun part. Um, so when you do all that for nothing, it just sucks. On the flip side, however, open water fishing, you have an excellent day. You know, you're using one, two, you're allowed up to three poles in New York State now. Um, and it can get pretty crazy, but ice fishing, man, you're allowed seven devices in New York, five in Pennsylvania. When you have all five tip-ups going off at once or seven in New York, it's just nuts, man. And it is such a rush, especially when you're using big, huge, you know, perch and big, huge shiners or suckers as bait. And then that flag goes off and you th see the little thing spinning a million miles an hour. Uh, you know, it's going to be a big fish on there and it's just such a rush and, it's it's way more fun. A good day ice fishing is way more fun than a good day open water fishing. But a poor day ice fishing, you know, sucks compared to a poor day open water fishing. So I guess that's the big difference. Overall, I'd say I like open water fishing and ice fishing about equal. It's just, you know, ice fishing's different because uh, the fun days are more fun and um, the days that are poor are poorer. You, you know what I mean. You get the idea. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas. Hopefully, I'll be out fishing before New Year's and upload a video before then, but if not, have a Happy New Year, too, and I'll catch you guys in the next fishing adventure.